Hello everybody and welcome to Wednesdays Around the Reef. I'm so glad you've tuned in. Uh, we're on week three which is the rose candle uh, and the rose candle represents joy. It also represents the shepherd's candle and I'm going to talk about both those things today. This week uh, we called it Gaudete Sunday which also means Rejoice Sunday. Um, and in the canticle, we didn't, we didn't read a psalm this week, uh, we sang a canticle, which is from Luke chapter 1, um, and it's called the Magnificat, which is Mary's song that she was praising God when she saw Elizabeth, her cousin, and told her the great news that she was going to bear the Messiah, uh, Jesus, and uh, he was going to save us from our sins. And so we have much to rejoice about. Uh, Christmas is only a few short days away, it's hard to believe. Advent just flew by, uh, but this might seem like a weird year to talk about rejoicing, but we certainly have a lot to rejoice about. The third candle, like I said, represents joy, and we have much to rejoice about. We really do, even in this year with the political unrest, the pandemic, the social unrest, and a lot of different things going on. We need to focus on the light. We need to focus on the joy that Christ gives us. On Gaudete Sunday, we hear this canticle in Luke chapter 1. And I'm going to read this for you today. And I love that it's called the Magnificat because it, it magnifies the Lord. Uh, someone wise once said that we should magnify the Lord, not our problems. And I think that's what, what Mary was trying to do. Not that bearing Jesus was a problem, but wow, did it come with a lot of a lot of, uh, not anguish, but a lot of stress, I imagine, um, and a lot of turmoil that was to come in her life. But she had to do it uh, so that she, so that we could have a savior and so that we could be saved from our sins. I don't know that I would have said this if, if, if I would have been uh, greeted by a heavenly host, uh, but this is what Mary said. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior, for he has regarded the lowly estate of his maidservant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. And Mary remained with her, Elizabeth, for about three months and returned to her house. I love this passage. Because Mary is crying out to the Lord and trusting in his promise that all that is wrong will be made right, the high will be brought low, the rich will be sent away empty, he will lift up the poor and the lowly, and then he never forgets his children, especially Israel. We are his chosen ones because we believe in Christ, and he never forgets about us. Isn't that something, to, especially to remember this year, that God never forgets about us. He is Emmanuel. He loves us. He is Emmanuel, like I said, which means God is with us. He does not forget about us. What a wonderful thing to rejoice about, that Mary proclaimed with great joy when she was about to be an instrument of God coming in the flesh. Her saying yes to God's will brought her immense joy. I, am, I imagine it brought her also stress, but I also think it brought her peace. Because doing God's will not only brings us joy, but it also brings us peace. It also comes with, it's also not easy to follow God's will, but he gives us the grace to do it. Like I said, it will bring us ease in the journey. This candle is also called the shepherd's candle. And I imagine with Mary given this great task of being the mother of Christ our Lord, that she was shepherded throughout the duration of her life with him. What a great thing. We too are shepherded in God's plan for our lives. He shepherds us, he guides us, he will never leave us or forsake us. And may we look 
and delight of God's plan for our lives. And in doing that, that'll bring us great joy. Let's take a few moments now to recall God's joy and the blessings he has brought to us. Thank you for tuning in this week, and I hope that by magnifying on the Lord and not our problems may bring us immense joy. And I, I promise you that he will shepherd you in your life's journey. Thank you for watching. <laughs>